Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Vince and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I actually rank a video step by step live so you can actually see how I do it right here with me. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. This video is uh, the next video that I'm going to publish on my channel, obviously, and it is about how much YouTube paid me for a viral, quote unquote, video um, that I've created. So. Uh, the first thing I always do is find out what keyword I am actually trying to rank my video for, what keyword I'm trying to show up for in the search results. So in this case, it's going to be this, how much YouTube paid me. And then I will obviously add some extra stuff into it. Now, as you can see, I have TubeBuddy installed on my computer, which is a YouTube plugin that helps you with a lot of stuff uh, when it comes to ranking and also finding good video topics. So as you can see, this keyword gets a really high score on the search volume, which means that a lot of people are actually searching for this keyword, which is great. Um, but unfortunately, it does have quite a bit of competition and uh, a lot of big channels who are making videos on this topic. But I generally would rather go for uh, a topic that has a lot of search volume and a good amount of competition than something that doesn't have much search volume, but uh, has low competition as well. Because, you know, I would um, rather try to go for something uh, big and, and try to get a lot of views that way than to try to rank for something that I'm definitely going to rank for, but nobody's going to watch it anyways. So, you know, this can really uh, change based on how big your channel is. Mine is currently at around 22,000 subscribers. So I'm not super likely to rank, you know, number one for this, but I have uh, at least some chance of it if my thumbnail and title are good. So this is the keyword I am going for. So now I'm going to go into my YouTube studio and actually do the ranking, right? So as you can see, I'm right here and I haven't put in a title yet or a description yet. I just have my normal like description template in here and I haven't put any tags in yet or, um, you know, any thumbnail either. So I'm going to use TubeBuddy, this um, plugin to do the ranking because I really much prefer uh, the inf interface of that than the normal just YouTube studio stuff. So uh, I'm going to click on this right here, uh, click on SEO studio and, um, you know, do my SEO right here. If you want to grab TubeBuddy, you can go and click the link in the description and uh, get it right there. If you get it through that link, I get a small commission from it. So it's a great way to support the channel and it doesn't cost you any more um, than, you know, if you just got it through the website. So I really appreciate every single person who uh, gets TubeBuddy through that. But now uh, I'm going to put in the target keyword I'm trying to rank for. So in this case, that's going to be how much um, YouTube paid me, right? So now I'm going to put in the title. Uh, I might change that a bit later. I don't know yet, uh, but for now it seems pretty good to me. Uh, I like to capitalize the beginning of some words to make it read more like a, a newspaper kind of. And uh, in the description, it's really important that in the first uh, few lines of the description, you include the target keyword uh, that you are trying to rank for at least like three times. Uh, that's what I like to go for. And I kind of always also just uh, write down the whole uh, title of the video. Um, so uh, let's just write that quick description up right now. So I just finished up writing the first segment of the description. As you can see, it's not the best like piece of writing in the uh, history, but um, what I really try to focus on in here, like I said, is to mention the uh, keywords that I'm trying to rank for as many times as possible and kind of like put the keywords into sentences to trick YouTube into thinking um, they are actual sentences, not just me trying to put in as many keywords as possible into the first few lines of the description. Because if you just copy and pasted uh, the same tags, for example, that you include in the tag section of the video, uh, it's not going to rank too well. Like YouTube doesn't like that when you just put tags and they don't make any actual real sense in the description. But if you put your tags into sentences, even if they aren't like grammatically correct or, or they don't make too much sense, 
um, then it's still going to rank a lot better. So I don't like to overcomplicate descriptions or spend you know too much time on it. Uh, sometimes I also put in timestamps, which I might gonna do on this video a bit later on. Uh, but for now, this is all I'm gonna do. Now, let's move on to the next part, which is tags, right? So as you can see, see TubeBuddy will actually uh, recommend you tags based on um, the keyword you are trying to rank for. So I'm just gonna put in the first one. I think this is a great tag already, how much YouTube paid me. Then I'm also gonna put in how much money uh, YouTubers make. A great way to find tags as well is um, to put in, uh, to go into the you know search bar of YouTube and then start typing in whatever topic you made the video about. And then you can see it's going to give you all of these different suggestions uh, and autofills that people search for. So I would include probably quite a lot of these things as uh, tags in my video, right? So how much money you can, can you make on YouTube? How much um, money do YouTubers make? How much money for 1 million views? Uh, I'm gonna include a couple of these in here. Now I'm also gonna put in um, some more of these tags that TubeBuddy recommended me, right? Uh, how much money pa uh, YouTube paid me small channel, how much money YouTube paid me for a million views. Another thing I like to do sometimes if uh, I don't really have any great ideas for keywords, now this is not something I do all the time, but sometimes this can also be useful, is uh, you know look up the uh, keyword that you are trying to rank for and then look at the best ranking videos for that keyword and then click on the video. Uh, if you have TubeBuddy or something like that, you can actually see what keywords they put into the videos uh, and then you can maybe take some of the uh, keywords that they are also um, using. So you can, uh, you know, obviously don't like copy and just copy paste all of their keywords, but maybe you can take a couple keywords from them and include those in your video as well. And you might have, uh, you know, a higher chance of ranking for the same uh, keywords. Sometimes you can also put in uh, some versions of tags that are basically misspelled because a lot of people misspell stuff. So in this case, that could be something like how much money YouTube paid me uh, in 2022. I'm not gonna include that one because I don't have enough uh, space at this point, but I think you get the idea of what I mean. So I'm gonna make the target keyword, the first keyword on here. And as you can see, uh, TubeBuddy gives you an SEO score. Now, don't take this for granted because obviously TubeBuddy can only tell you like how well you are optimizing for the uh, keyword you put into it in the beginning. So if the actual keyword you put into it in the beginning is trash, then it might tell you that, hey, you are you have a 100% SEO score, but your SEO might still be off and you might not get any views. So keep that in mind. It's really important to uh, choose a correct and a good target keyword in the beginning of the SEO process. But as you can see, I put in my uh, target keyword in the first place. And um, now I'm pretty happy with this, honestly. So when it comes to SEO, the most important things are the title and the first few parts of the description and tags aren't that important anymore in 2021 and 2022. Uh, YouTube doesn't put that much emphasis on it uh, when it comes to showing search results. So I don't like to, you know, overthink that either. I think I did an overall pretty good job with this. Uh, I covered a lot of the main keywords I'm trying to rank for, different ver variations of it. So now I'm pretty happy overall with the SEO of this video. So I'm going to apply these things. I'm going to save the video. I'm also going to put an end screen at the end of the video. So maybe some viewers are going to watch uh, another video of mine or, uh, you know, click subscribe by uh, clicking on this little icon thing. So I always put in an end screen as well. And uh, I'm also going to manage the ads. So I will put in a couple mid rolls um, to this video. So what I like to do is put a double ad break in the beginning part. Normally, I would probably be a bit more careful about where I put the ads and I would watch the video over again and put it at the most suspenseful part. I will put one more ad break here. Uh, I will put probably one more here after I'm done with that segment and uh, I will put one more at the end. So you don't want to go overboard with the ads, obviously. I feel like it's fair to put in a good amount of ads because you're making this content for free. It's free to watch. You know, people can buy YouTube premium if they are really annoyed of the ads or they can use ad blocker. I don't recommend you to do that, uh, but uh, still, you know, I think it's fair to put in ads. I think it's fair to make money from uh, all this work that you put into it as a YouTuber. So um, that's my two cents on this. 
this topic um and uh, yeah these are pretty much the main things i do and this is kind of the process i go through i don't usually do anything super crazy you know this whole process was like 10 minutes but i do feel like i did an overall good job like this is like a 90 percent you know good job in my opinion on the seo side of things uh because um what's really going to determine how well the video does is well obviously the title the thumbnail and also the average watch time of the video how good the video video is right so lastly i'm going to add my thumbnail into it and then i'm pretty much done so this is how i rank a video live i hope you found this process interesting or insightful uh obviously i used tubebuddy in this case because this is actually how i do it i use it with basically all my videos but if you want to see uh, another video where i don't use tubebuddy uh then let me know in the comments below and um i will make that as well but you know tubebuddy is a free extension uh you can get the paid version of it obviously that adds a lot of extra features to it but um yeah overall i think it's really worth it so that's why i use it hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one